Well, hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom Beta. My name is Swoop there, and here we are in Fakola Mountain Park again, finally. Um, I guess I have to, I guess, give you guys a little bit of an apology, maybe a slight explanation. I have been a little bit absent over the past fortnight, what, two and a half weeks, maybe. I just really hit a creative wall. Like I just had a brick wall in front of me, didn't really fancy building, didn't really fancy recording. And I didn't just want to put out content for the sake of putting out content. It wouldn't have been my best work. And you guys kind of would have been like, what's going on here? Why are these episodes so odd um, or not kind of, I guess, me trying my best. So I let myself have a rest. I let myself reset. And I guess a few days ago, I just thought, oh, I feel like building. So I jumped into Prehistoric Kingdom. And as I was starting to build this, I thought, oh, it's going to have to be something decent because it has been a while. So I did put a bit of pressure on myself in that sense. But I didn't want to just build something small. I wanted to go like all out and do something really different, something that I hadn't built before in Prehistoric Kingdom. And so I end up, you've probably seen from the thumbnail, I end up building a tropic house or a tropical house. And it is big. It's a full habitat for the Parasaurolophus. Um, and it is massive. I do a lot of iterations I end up I think there's about four and a half maybe five hours of footage and then I didn't record quite a lot of the small stuff um, so it probably ended up taking me about six hours ish and that is not probably as long as it should have taken me I probably should have been a little bit quicker but because I've been slightly out of practice haven't been in the game for a few weeks um, I guess the reason that's the reason why it took me a little bit longer. I am really happy with how it turned out. I can't wait to take you around in the real time part and show you the inside of this tropics house because it is super cool. I just wanted to do something that guests would be able to fully immerse themselves into an experience with the dinosaurs. And this one has rope bridges that go across the top of the dinosaurs heads. And inside this tropical house, there is a waterfall. Everything is enclosed in rock. There is a backstage area as always for this park. I'm trying to make sure that that's realistic. And I'm really trying to go for with this particular build, something that is going to be unique in the park, almost like a draw card to the park, I suppose. So have a little look here. I'm just building some of the platforms and then I end up going in, changing them slightly and putting some rope bridges across to each of the platforms. There's also an exit building on the other side of this tropic house. So you can enter and exit through two different points, which I don't mind. I think that's kind of realistic. You wouldn't want to kind of come through one side and then have to go all the way back through the side you just came from. So this one kind of does a little bit of a loop. You can see I've popped in a couple of parasaur Parasaurolophus. Hmm. Sometimes I think I say that wrong. Parasaurolophus. I think that's correct, but I'll just have to check that. Let me just have a look here. Parasaurolophus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about these guys because I haven't ever built for them before. Uh, and if I have, I don't remember ever doing any facts about them. And I thought you guys would be keen to hear some of the facts that I learnt while I was building this. I often listen to YouTube clips about the dinosaurs. I also often look up things and read about them so that I can give you up to date and accurate, hopefully accurate information. So these particular dinosaurs, the Parasaurolophus, they lived in the late Cretaceous period. So around the same time as the very well known Velociraptor, um, all three North American species, so most of them have been found in North America, lived in like warm, lush flats. So around the Rocky Mountains um, and that inland seaway area that existed during that late Cretaceous period. And at particular times, some fossils have been found in Alberta, Utah and New Mexico as well. They grew to about 10 meters in length, so really big dinosaurs these ones and they could weigh up to about 3.5 tons they had that huge big crest on their head and that could grow to around 1.8 meters long which blows my mind because i am 1.8 meters tall so these dinosaurs were massive if that's how long their crests could get to 
and they ran on two legs, but they likely went all and mostly walked on two legs as well, from what we can tell. But they likely would have gone on all fours, I suppose, when they were grazing or foraging. And you can see um, them running in two legs in the just released Jurassic World Dominion trailer. So if you haven't seen that and you're keen to see that movie, I suggest getting over there and watching it. It's really good to see all the old cast back together. They ate these particular little guys. Well, I shouldn't say little because they aren't little, but they ate mostly anything they could get there. I guess little beaks on um, so they would eat like twigs or tree bark I guess or anything from ferns to conifer leaves whatever they could get their their teeth on because they had some like grinding teeth they were tall and so they were able and also because they were able to stand on their back legs they could rear up and kind of get all those tree branches that were out of reach for a lot of the other dinosaurs of that time like you know the ankylosaurs and all those smaller herbivores so that ability to I guess get those resources from up in the trees would have been quite handy. Now I was really interested in the Parasaurolophus's crest because I wanted to know what that was for um, and you'll see me a little bit later in this build I actually do go in and make some signs that say what are our crests for because I really found these this part of them really interesting because they are quite unique I haven't seen a dinosaur with something like that on their head before or similar to this so I did a little bit of reading about it and really interestingly um, originally there were some scientists that suggested that the Parasaurolophus was actually quite um, aquatic based and that its crest was largely used for potentially like a snorkel so they could breathe while they were feeding in the shallow waters and so on um, and many paleontologists actually echoed like similar ideas to that um, around they used it for breathing during submerged like when they had their heads submerged under the water when they were foraging however since uh, that there has been lots of scientists that have negated that as an actual option because there is no opening at the tip of their crest so there was nowhere to let in air and many scientists have actually said that there wouldn't actually be enough air coming in through that crest so the I guess the crest wouldn't have been large enough to function as an somewhere where they could breathe through basically for the size of the Parasaurolophus. So I guess the reservoir inside their crest would not have been big enough to house enough oxygen for them to breathe while foraging underwater. So with that red, I was like, okay, well, that's fine. So what did they actually use it for? And the two most popular theories that I read about was one was that it was used for a visual display. So obviously in males or in females, so they knew, I, uh, you know, what sex they were but also I guess maybe the males used it for a bit of like a territorial display and the other theory or the most popular theory for these crests is actually that they used it to produce sound so like a trumpeting sound and quite low frequency and quite fog horn like so I'll see if I can grab some sound for the Parasaurolophus and I'll pop it in here for you to listen to obviously there isn't any true sounds of them but there are speculated this is what they could have sounded like so I'll pop that in here for you to listen to Okay, so there you go. Now let's have a little look here at what I'm building. I am currently building the outside of the tropical house. I will go out on a limb here and say to you guys that the roof of this building was a nightmare. And I wanted it to be like a really cool round, kind of went up in tiers situation. But because I stupidly, and I will say stupidly, built the tropical house and it is not a perfect circle because I didn't want it to look like a perfect circle. I wanted it to be kind of like a bit a bit different. Um, but because I didn't build it as a perfect circle, it's almost impossible to roof in my opinion. So I did the best that I could. A lot of the roof is flat um, in the back half of the building and the front half of the building is all sort of roofed into this seating area that I'm building now. I wanted this whole interior here to be an area where people could walk in and they could look at the dinosaurs but they didn't have to go across the bridges because a lot of people don't like to be like on bridges or up high like that but I still didn't want them to be 
missing out on seeing the dinosaurs in this particular tropical house. I did toy around with the idea of making this a two dinosaur habitat, so maybe the uh, Edmontosaurus as well. I'm still open to that idea, but I do want to do as many habitats as I can in this park before Beta comes out. So perhaps I will not do that. You guys let me know in the comments whether you think I should put an extra dinosaur in here. Maybe I could put some of the small raptors, the micro raptors or the archaeopteryx in here, um, just so that they're kind of flying about, but then also they might bite the guests. So uh, let me know what you think. I will leave you to watch the rest of the speed build. It is a bit longer today. You do have about 10 minutes left and then I will jump into a real time part at the end. See you then guys.
All right, everyone, welcome back from the speed build. Here we are just outside the desert house. We're going to head on past the desert house and down towards the tropic house now. So I do have some Ed Montessori statues out the front here. That was because I was originally going to make it a two dinosaur habitat and we don't have any Parasaurolophus um, or as I've heard that it is supposed to be called Parasaurolophus um, dinosaur statues at the moment. So I've popped these guys here. It is very crude. I actually want to do something with the outside of this house in a stream. I also want to do the sides of the pathways and things like that. So this pathway actually leads out to the back of the building and where the guests can exit from or enter from as well but this is the main entrance I'm going to also in a live stream put some words on the front maybe some billboards or some education boards out the front here so at the moment is looking pretty bare bones uh, the roof as you can see doesn't look too bad from this angle in fact I'd go as far as to say it actually doesn't it looks quite good from this angle once we get inside it's a little bit more uh, how's your mother I suppose um, but I have tried my best to make it look as realistic as I can I do want to put some drains on the outside of this building too I'll do that in a live stream so that it looks more realistic I do have a lot of the um, concrete base uh, for the building to actually be built on or standing on and then you have some outdoor seating with some bins heading down towards where there will be some pathways that go off to the rest of the park this is also where the staff can enter their area I haven't quite finished the staff area yet I just kind of put it there as an implied it is there and then I do have like staff entrances and so on within inside the building here so let's head on in we'll just head up the steps here and into the in through the glass door and we are greeted first of all with this area here now this is the part of the roof that I don't mind um, it does look decent we've got the seating along here we've got some nice big uh, planters in the middle this is also here supposed to be implied seating so you could come and sit on this concrete edge here and then you have the signs here as well so you can come up here and you can look down and view the dinosaurs from here without having to go across the bridge because I as I said in the speed build I wanted this to be an option for people who didn't actually want to go across the bridge itself then before we leave and we do go across the bridge I'm just going to take you down to this area here I made a little education area so perhaps for like I don't know school talks or keeper talks they would come and stand here and that way that all the guests are kind of facing into the habitat itself and they can kind of get glimpses of the dinosaurs there is quite a lot of rock here uh, for a very good purpose the dinosaurs are very tall and we don't want them leaping out uh, so they could kind of stand here talk about the dinosaurs and the guests could look out so we'll head on past all of this implied seating and we're going to go across the rope bridge uh, so let's head on down the rope bridge here and as we go across you can see there's some of the Parasaurolophus down here let's head across wall very fast across and then I have the same signs here so what are our crests for in case anyone wants to read about those and then you get a decent view I'm also going to fix up this waterfall in the live stream so I want to make it a little bit more realistic I'm going to put something at the top here so it looks like the water is actually coming from somewhere and there's not these big gaps where water should still be coming down so that's going to also happen in a live stream but you can see the dinosaurs kind of wandering around we can head over here and then I'll show you oh, there's another couple of them wandering about one lying down here and you can see above us there is some interesting things going on with the roof but we'll just pretend that's not happening guys so I also want to draw your attention to we're just going to jump over here for a moment this is where the dinosaurs would be brought in from I'm also going to pop a keeper door I need to close some of these things off I'm going to do all of that in my live stream so anything you see that's not quite finished it's all going to be done in the live stream I just wanted to get this video out so you guys had something to watch you can see here here's where the keeper building will be this out here is also going to be oops we're in the tree swoop out here is also going to be like a little bit of a extra part of the habitat I guess so I'm going to actually put a fence that kind of comes up and around so that if they didn't want to have all of the dinosaurs in the tropic house they could have a couple out here just resting away from the guests and giving them a break which is also another reason why I have this undercover kind of area for them to come into so they would be brought in here 
that could be open so that they could come in and then here they are in the habitat this one's having a little lay down in the water but I think this is probably max like you wouldn't want to have any more than four in this habitat even though it is quite large um, you wouldn't want to have any more than that like maybe even you would have a couple of these out resting away from the guests and only a couple in at once but that is the interior so far so we'll just head back over to where we were before just on this ramp here and then we will head along this bridge and then you can see here here is the exit building so we'll head up there in a moment let's we'll have another look down here at the dinosaurs one there they're really lovely and I've obviously got this concrete here and also up top so that it is as realistic as possible and then we can head out so you can choose whichever way you want to exit we'll just head along here and then we are in the exit building and then once again there is a little sign here and if people want to come into this area and look down at the dinosaurs from here without crossing the bridges they can do that as well so we've come from all the way over here that's the opening of the building there and we'll just head out through the door which I also need to fix up and here we are at the exit so the exit is going to have a pathway that goes this way as well and that will eventually connect up to where the mammoths are so if you've seen that episode of me building the mammoth enclosure this is actually nowhere near the mammoths but that's where it will eventually lead to so what I'm going to do I'm going to zoom out now so you guys can see where everything is ignore the roof of this building it needs to be fixed but we will deal with that later guys we'll deal with that later so you can see here is the pathway from the exit round to the entrance point then you've got the keeper and this way is where I'm going to have the path going so this path here will eventually be connected all the way up to this path here there will be another two habitats in here potentially and then we're also going to have a path that will connect along here and make another big loop around there and I'll do a habitat here or maybe another house I feel like this is the place where I've got all the inside habitat so I might do another one here a smaller one like the desert house and then another couple of outdoor habitats here and here I also want to build a visitor center up on this hill here so there is a little implied car park on this side where I would think that maybe some school groups would come or some larger groups would come in and they would come in and potentially come into the education center first and be spoken to or talked to and then they could be released I suppose out into the park so that uh, that will have a pathway that potentially goes across here and all the way around so you can see from the very beginning I did say I wanted to have like a kind of like a figure of eight like two loops in my park so we do have the first loop which heads all the way around here and the second loop which will head all the way around there so thank you so much for tuning into my episode that has taken an extremely long time to come out I'm sorry about that but I hope it was worth it I hope you enjoyed looking at this building as I built it I really enjoyed building the building um, and I'm happy that I enjoyed it because I was worried that I would need a longer break than what I actually did I am happy with how it turned out I hope you guys are too uh, let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next if you think there would be another dinosaur suited to the another interior I guess habitat or if you would like to see another outdoor habitat maybe you'd like to see me just doing staff buildings uh, maybe you would also like to see me building a restaurant or some cafes or so on so let me know and I will attempt to do that in the next episode or in an episode coming up thank you so much for tuning in guys please do remember to like and comment on my videos if you have just a moment it is really helpful for small creators it does make sure that that youtube algorithm goes oh this video is liked by people well, let's show it to others just in case they might like it too so that's how it works and if you have a second to do that i would really appreciate it thank you so much guys and i will see you in the next one take care bye